these company collectibles. I almost always roll into a gaming. And excuse my mic, my mic is under construction. It's uh, blibbity blabbity, and there's a lot of double A batteries involved in its butt. So, today we're looking at the 112 scale Bandai Shore Trooper kit. Now, the Shore Trooper kit has been, oh, yeah, Shore Trooper kit has been out for a while. Yeah, I know, but I just never thought about getting it because I always thought, you know, the, the Black Series came out with such a nice Shore Trooper figure. I just settled on that. But, after doing this myself, it's always one of those factors. After doing this myself and seeing that, you know, hey, uh, they're, they're making a great, great figure on here. They're absolutely astonishing. It's coming from Bandai, you should know already, this thing is going to be amazing. The level of detail in this guy is, is amazing. The tiniest, tiniest of nicks and dings that is on the short trooper helmet or rest of the body armor is so there and spot on. I absolutely love this figure for that reason. Um, but the only kind of iffy part is that his um, jointed areas in here are really, really obvious. I mean, it's, it's plastic, yeah, but that's the only thing kind of bothered me. Other than that, really, this is another perfect figure from Bandai. I really love the way they, they turned out and did this. Um, now, as far as how it comes, it's a really easy kit to build, just like any other Bandai figure. It's really easy, really straightforward. It comes with just one pallet of um, plastic parts for his armor and then a few others for other dinks and donks like his his pants and stuff like that, which is, which is amazingly the color <laughs> it looks like. Once you, I just flat coated it, so once you flat coat it, it looks just like it's cloth or something like that. Now, as for his weapons, he does come with an E11 blaster, as you can see here, typical Bandai, and then his E, uh, gosh, E11 2. Tell me what the name of that blaster is, please, audience. I love you. But he also comes with that epic blaster rifle that they gave him in Rogue One and this trooper Rogue One from the the, the short trooper from Rogue One is oh god it's outstanding um you may say hey he's got like different armor on like this piece and that pou pouch with this uh sticker decal onto him but yeah that that I just mix and match because I'm making a diorama right now so I want the troopers to be different and I just threw a little bit here and there on them like this one has his pouches on him and the other one doesn't so that's why you may see a mix-up of armor and whatnot. Now, uh, this figure comes, if you do this clean, to me this figure does not have any detail whatsoever when you try to do him like uh, clean. He just like, he's missing a ton and ton of details. Um, it's way too clean if you don't paint up this figure. As you can see here, I did my custom weathering paint job I usually do on my figures. And I do it to super realism. Like, let's go in a little bit closer. And as you can see, this guy is weathered super real. I, I'm doing this on commission, so this one is already sold. Um, I was wanting to get this review out before. I'll have to let it go. Um, but if you just go in there and weather him so real, it's just amazing how you can get this detail down to a T. Um, and the way these Bandai figures look with him, it's, it's amazing. They really, really, these are model kits for artists, really. Like, it's it's quite amazing how much, when you put in the detail, how much realism comes out of these Bandai kits. I just love it. As you can see, the forearm and the, the, the red uh, armor there. And I love that they give you this in red plastic and not just a plain plastic for you to do everything on your own. They actually give you... Um, uh, uh, the armor pieces painted except for these which were pretty hard to put on I use sticker decals because the water decals don't tend to sit Proper as much on some figures. I prefer water decals, but for this application we had to go um, full-blown um, Let's go back around so we can see that chest armor in full detail in focus so as you can see that chest armor I did um, and They also give all the accessories uh, alternate um belt alternate pouches and uh pat pouches here as you can see so that way you can get all the grunt officer squad leader captain or i don't know i think it was captain squad leader and uh uh the grunt 
but they give you all those little options here and there, which is pretty cool. Now working your way down here, uh, you have the pants, which comes in shiny brown plastic, but add a black wash and then finish it off in some, uh, you, you know, the matte finished, um, matte finished uh, coat paint of any lacquer or matte finished acrylic and you'll get a nice matte finish that really looks very realistic in uh, in the uh, in the cloth like look so now we go down towards the boots and shin guards um, very nicely done um, oops a little bit of gap there squeeze it up uh, I did these more weathered because they're more towards the ground more um, more damage will go on them but as you can see Nothing but greatness from Bandai. The engineering they, like I always say, the engineering they do is quite fantastic and I love it. It's amazing. Um, what else? The blaster. Take another look at that blaster. That one is a typical E11, so nothing to see there. And how about this? That blaster is amazing. The detail on that is amazing. Now, you see how it's a little bit weathered with the silverware and stuff? If you go to Ian's Customs, I forgot Ian's Ian, Ian, you guys may know him. Ian on YouTube, Ian's Customs, Ian Custom Figure. He, I don't know, I learned that thing from him. Ian did an amazing job of showing off, um, also comes with an extra hand. Two hands and a gun holding hand. Less hands with this guy, kind of weird. I wonder why they didn't have that tilted hand. They should add that tilted hand to every figure now. But I learned that method from Ian's, um, um, work on his channel, so go check him out. He's a buddy of mine. I've uh, been there since he started. He's an amazing guy, as well as Sam Model Chili's Scale Chili. I don't, I, why can't I remember their names? I'm sorry, babies. But um, that's it from this. Um, pretty much a great figure. Now, as far as articulation goes, his head <coughs> is um, very well articulated for a figure like this. Um, I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit. So, with his head. It's oddly articulated very nice. Like full range of motion. 90 degrees on the um 90 degree and and kind of like that. On the elbows, double jointed, double jointed knees, awesome articulation. Um the pivoting and swiveling of the ankles, um thigh swivel, bicep swivel, all this swivel up here and ab crunch like Whoa, and then like that, so it's amazing. Um, I did do water decals on these, these, that, and is I think this, but I put stickers for this because the water decals was very hard to accomplish on these and settle down. Unless you, I, I mean, I have it too. I didn't want to use it because it's it wasn't gonna settle down on my part. Maybe you can. I do use a uh, decal softener when I apply these um, it, to these figures, so that's that's one thing you can probably try. But um, like like I, you see here, great articulation, great detail, great likeness to the color of the Shore Trooper. The color of the Shore Trooper is a very hard sand color to nail. Um, it's it's not yellow and it's not beige, but it's a Sahara type of desert sand beige um, color. So they did great on that color. But other than that, great figure, love it. Um, a little late for this figure, but. Hey, I'm I'm, a, I'm coming across. I can. It's it's here. So if you like what you saw on Easy Company Collectibles, make sure you subscribe, like, and share the videos. What you contribute to this uh, channel will go towards um, hungry, starving baby narwhals in the Pacific Rim. So do uh, donate a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, bye.